Hey guys, in this video we are going to talk about small lettering and I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to uh, better have your small letters stitch out nicely. We're going to use our text tool and we can either use one of the pre-digitized fonts that come with Inspire or we could use a true type font and our possibilities are endless really with that. So I'm just gonna use what's here. Now with any small lettering that's say a half inch or smaller, we want to make a couple of adjustments to the density, the underlay, and we might need to adjust our trims. So this is um, a small word, it's about 0.35 inches high. For the underlay, I like to have a center line. And what that is going to help with is we don't want loss of registration. If I were to have a contour, then that line is much closer to the edge of my letter and it has more potential of sticking out should there be any shift um, in the design as it stitches. So center line is usually going to be the best at, in some cases, you might even um, remove it altogether, but I wouldn't recommend. The underlay is important. So with the center line, that can help. I also want to make sure that the density isn't too low. And the reason is that the smaller you get, the closer those stitches are going to be as it is. So I don't need to have the density set super thick like this, I could say 0.3, 0.4 is probably a sweet spot. Also depends on your fabric. Another thing I want to talk about is our commands. If my lettering is pretty small, I might have a jump stitch in between the letters. In this case, I just have these two. If I want to trim in between each letter, I can select under text commands, trim characters, and that will trim in between each letter. I also have the option to trim longer than a specific length, and you could set that as needed. Let's say I wanted these letters to be all different colors, the easiest, quickest way to do so is in our color change tab to change it to color change between characters. Now it'll allow me to choose a different color for each letter. So hope those tips helped out. Definitely try out your small lettering and let us know how it goes.